Just introducing myself, my name is Leonardo Tucci. I am a Brazilian journalist. I've worked um, for some uh, papers and magazines in Brazil covering uh, business, uh, journalism and political things also. And then uh, by the end of 2010 I've decided to create my own company which is Brazil 247 <clears throat> and the idea was to have the first uh, iPad newspaper in Brazil. In the beginning, 247 was not as it is today. It was more uh, an application than a website. But the fact is that the audience was in the website. And then when I found Source Fabric, it was really important because you know, the website became the application uh, because we had the responsive design and I was finding that uh, what I was uh, seeing is that people uh, were not willing to download content uh, because the day was a, you know, you had to download content every day and we had two issues per day but uh, you know, in the internet, the people want to access and to read immediately and to share. And when we had the responsive design, so we almost, we did not abandon the application, but we could have done that because the website takes care of, of everything. So if you open using a smartphone or a tablet, it, the reading experience is very good. And so I, I guess that Source Fabric was this really important for, for our development. The biggest challenge in the beginning was to showing people that we were different, that we were doing a different thing, and I guess that we succeeded because, you know, we have a very high audience, a very high level of engagement of readers, more than 2,000 comments per day in the website and more than 10,000 comments per day in our Facebook page, which has Five five hundred and fifty thousand fans, uh, which is a lot for for Brazil. The second challenge was to find advertisers, even having this uh, different personality, and we could find the advertisers, and we're doing fine. That's that's how it works because we have we use Google AdSense and those who buy media space around, but we have strong advertisers in Brazil that are much more important than this kind of because you know in our case we're not just dealing with the audience factor but also with the influence factor so we decide to be an influence to be uh, to take part of the agenda setting in Brazil so source fabric is a great solution because you know you have great people committed uh, to you know with free journalism and and it's I think that if there is a trend for journal for journalism is that you know and this is a dream that journalists can become publishers and not employees as in the past. One of my dreams when I began is that well I want to have my own not my own company but you know my own media channel to, to tell people what I think and now I have what's important to, to tell is that uh, we are hiring some very important journalists in Brazil. There are uh, around 30 people who work for me at this moment and some of them are among the most respected journalists in the country. So that's, we are really rec recognize it as a, you know, we can compete with traditional media companies and with, I, I began with no special money, it, it was just a simple solution and it was very important to find, uh, you know, people committed to that as I found here uh, before in Berlin, now in Paris. <laughs>